Hello over here, um, just doing a handling video on how to handle your mastics. Um, your mastics, they come mostly from around the Sahara area. Um, mine, you can find them, you can find your mastics just about any pet shop, uh, expo. They're pretty common actually. Uh, she is a Saharan species, that's just what they call them, uh, this type. But anyway, today is going to be a handling video in one second. She's not cooperating for the camera. Um, her name is uh, Chloe. She is a female. Uh, she's a couple of months old. Uh, she's a, or possibly a year, I'm not exactly sure. She is about six inches. Six and a half, seven inches or so. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. She's a little jittery this morning. She was on under her heat light, so she's. I'm gonna have to pretty much hold on to her. Um. Anyway, year mastics. They are pretty gentle, especially if you uh, raised them from beginning. I certainly did not. Uh, but I was lucky enough that she was so small that when I got her, she was about four inches maybe three four inches when I got her she's really grown um, really impressed with how fast she's uh, growing and how good she's doing she's a little chubby on the chubby side but <clears throat> you want a bit on the chubby side your mastics just to make sure she's good and healthy um, anyway handling they're pretty calm cool wizards they mo other than now of course um, they will sometimes make her run for it, but she's just all hyped up because she was under her heat lamp. But they're pretty tame. Uh, pretty cool. They're kind of like the bearded dragons. They can, they'll can they just sit on your shoulder. And, of course, for this video, she is not cooperating. Um, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, they, were, they are kind of one of those lizards just chill, you know. Uh, I'll take her outside when uh, I'll set her on my shoulder and she'll just sit there and chill out um, Same with bearded dragons bearded dragons are like a lot like that um, She is a smaller species um, <laughs> She's really curious But anyway, uh, don't know if you've seen my last video for her uh, year mastics year mastics uh, care but if you go ahead, uh, click over to that. Uh, pretty good tips and everything on how to care. Simple care uh, for your mastic. Sorry about that. She's running away. <laughs> she is very hyped up. Sorry about that. This is, wasn't a good time to do a video. Um, but they're pretty tame. She has never bitten me. She has tried tail whipping me. And... One of their na another name for your mastics is spiny tailed lizard. If the camera will focus. Anyway, she has all these tiny, tiny little spines down her tail. And in a the while, they use that. If they can't bite uh, any predator, if that's the last thing they have to do, uh, they'll tail whip them with those tiny little spikes. And yeah, I wouldn't want to be the predator at that moment. Um, but you can put. Uh, small lizard leashes on them uh, right now I'm currently in training of her training her to uh, cooperate with a leash it's a homemade uh, paracord leash and sorry about my camera it is not focusing today I'm really sorry about that um, but uh, so your mastics they do uh, are really flat because in the wild they um, uh, like to hide in little crevices and between rocks and stuff, so they are naturally flat. <laughs> Man, the camera is not focusing. Sorry about that, people. Um, but anyway, oh, wanted to mention, mention too, uh, this channel is about reptiles and other animals, but I am also going to add some stuff about knives. Um, but, uh, if all goes well... <laughs> Might get some ballet song videos uh, in the future. 
um, kind of starting out slow with my channel. But anyway, back to your mastics. They are very tame. Now I wouldn't uh, recommend for beginner uh, choice of uh, reptile. I would say maybe intermediate just because of their care. Uh, you can watch my care video. There's many out there too of other types. But, uh, oops, she's shedding. That's probably one of the reasons why she's so jumpy is because she's stressed out from shedding. You reptile people uh, know what I'm talking about when your reptile is shedding. They do not really like to be handled. But, yeah. Pre your mastics are pretty good animals. I do recommend them if you're at intermediate level of uh, experience with reptiles. Like I said before in other videos, I've had many reptiles and other uh, exotic or animals. Uh, but yeah. And I am hopefully in the future going to be doing some videos of arachnids, spiders, and centipedes and stuff like that. So I don't know when that's just in the future. Whenever I can do it. Right now I ain't got any, but I'm eventually going to get some. Uh, I love those little wolf spiders and stuff, so. I've had a couple of jumping spiders and such, so. Alright, well, uh, thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you later.